Yeah, it was, uh, I guess, a long time coming. Um, four weeks turned into, turned into a few months, obviously, with, with what went down um, and a disappointing result. But, um, but there was definitely an element of pride and, um, and honour being back out there in the colours. It kind of felt like um, I was back to my first game again. There was a little bit of nerves pre-game and you kind of wonder if you can still do it and if you can still play. Um, but once the, once the ball's bounced, it's, um, it's pretty much back to normal. It'd be pretty ignorant and rude just to ignore what happened and, and move forward and, um, and not look at it at all. You definitely want to take some learnings out of it clearly. Um, but it's also at the same time not something that I'll be trying to think about every day for the rest of my life. But it was probably worse on my, um, on my family because um, you feel like you've let them down, the club, um, you've let other people down, um, the people who were, whose cars were, were hurt. Um, and the potential injury that, that, that could have been caused, um, that, that's probably where your mind goes in those immediate few days um, after it. Um, we had our running sessions during the week, so that was pretty much the only time that I would leave my house um, was to go for those running sessions. So I'd gear myself up for those um, with a real intent to come back um, in really good nick and really good shape. As always, running sessions and, and fitness sessions are always easy when you're doing them with someone and particularly with someone like Woody who, who trains so hard and gets the best out of himself. Um, he's definitely someone who I, who I thought that would probably be the best to partner myself up with and try and do as much as I could with him. Um, things changed pretty quick there with, with on-field leadership stuff. It was probably something that I never thought I would get when I got to the club and even three or four years in I was um, probably miles off, um, miles off being anywhere near considered to be vice-captain but um, in the days after it I spoke to Bonte and I was having a few chats with him and Bevo um, and just felt it was probably unattainable to, to keep it moving forward. It just wouldn't have seemed right given what had happened and, and the rest of the year it would have seemed um, just a little bit uncomfortable um, to sit in front of the group after what had happened as, as their vice captain. So um, yeah, we addressed that pretty quickly and I, I just chose to sit down. Um, yeah, that, it, it, it hurt a lot and it still does. Um, even running out on the weekend, um, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about it once or twice as I was running out, so it's definitely something that, that'll hurt. Yeah, well I guess my, the actions and behaviours that, that got me to that point of being voted into vice-captain don't change and, and they're still there, so um, I really took it upon myself because I knew I was going to be training with the younger boys and the boys who weren't going to be getting a game. Um, so I really try to look after them and, and mentor them and, and guide them through what is a pretty hard, hard period for them when they're, when they're not playing um, actual games. It, it can be pretty hard to stay motivated, so I really try to focus on that um, and get in touch with as many of them as I could. Um, definitely there's, there's aspirations to get back in that leadership group and, and look, that can only come over time and, and it's going to take a, time, a fair bit of time to build back that trust from the coaches, the players, um, the board, the fans, from everyone. Um, so whether that's um, next year, whether that's in a few years, um, it might not ever come um, and that's fine as well, um, but I'll be doing everything I can to get there.